YouTube, I am back. What's cool? What's groovy? What's happening? Welcome back to my channel. It's time for life. I've been gone for a hot minute, but I am back. And I decided to come back as myself. I've been looking through all the videos that are popping on YouTube, and I realized that if your face ain't highlighted, if your face ain't beat, if it ain't flawless, if your background isn't popping with some bouquet and some candles or some nice backdrop, you're probably not gonna get enough views. I'm not gonna let that stop me. I come to you barefaced with pimples galore because I'm eating a lot of cake because you know, gotta enjoy myself. Yeah, I just thought it would be cool to have a nice chit chat video where I do my hair. Okay, let me at least put some chapstick on because cracked lips ain't cute no matter how natural you're trying to be. Okay, now that that's done, I did a few twists or what are their braids. Don't really know what's going on, but yeah. And it's like with a middle part that's not even really perfect. And then I think two braids coming down the side. And then whatever is going on over here. It was cute at first, but now it's no longer really cute. So we can remove that. And then I'm gonna have some popping curls. I've decided just to come back to YouTube and just make videos that I feel like making. I'm not gonna wait for any perfect time. If I feel like filming, I'm just gonna grab the camera and film. And yeah, just put stuff out there. Cause I've been seeing a lot of videos. Um, you know, a lot of chit chatty videos and stuff like that. And when it comes to YouTube, I think one of the most important things is to just begin. Just start if that's your passion, if that's something you really enjoy doing. And I really like creating. So the best thing to do is just to start. I think like with everything, you know, people try to start businesses and stuff like that. And people are waiting for all this cash flow to come in. But I think for in, that's like an example, um, even if you're trying to start a business, I think the first thing that you really need to focus on is have the business model, have the business plan and pose it to some of your friends, your family, people that are, okay, I'm trying not to really rip out my hair, so I'm trying to be a bit gentle. So I've got a knot over here and I'm just trying to gently remove it so I don't actually rip out my hair. Um, yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, just start. I think the best thing to do is just start. It's just like with any coursework homework, exams, just start. Don't think about how difficult it is. Don't think about how some of your friends have already moved along way more than you have. Just start. And if you start today, you're already one day ahead of time than if you start tomorrow. So that's, yeah, that would be my advice to myself and to whoever is listening to this. So anyway, I've removed these braids here and then I've got this long twist. And it's, this was a very messy style. It was basically like, straight out of you know straight from washing and i just kind of did it very quick i was done in like 20 minutes or so um because i didn't want to spend too much time and now that my hair has grown quite a bit i do not want to spend let me just come closer so you can actually see what i'm doing i don't want to spend too much time you know doing this hair because it's quite you know it's quite long now i don't have to spend forever in a day doing my hair so I don't <laughs> yeah there's no point so if I can do a wash and go ooh, I did a nice wash and go a while back I didn't even like to do wash and goes so for those of you watching that do not know what wash and goes are because I still know a few naturals that don't and are not really watching all these YouTube videos and stuff they don't really bother with that um, but yeah if you don't know what wash and go is it's basically this natural hair mine are very tight curls um, you just literally wash the hair and you go you don't twist it you don't braid it as in you don't put your hair in any protective style, you just wash your hair and go. Now what you would maybe do is, as you're washing, maybe section your hair off and con maybe, this is how I do it anyway, I section my hair, I have maybe six or eight twists and then I deep condition them um, before I go and I can deep condition them either with oil or with an actual deep conditioner or oils. Um, Heck, I think you even do a mixture of the two. Um, and then I go into the shower and I use my shampoo and and then I um, 
rinse it out with the twister intact so i really focus on the scalp which i can still get to really focus on the scalp make sure all the dandruff and everything is gone make sure it's smelling lovely and then i just kind of wash it out with the shampoo get everything out and then i put my conditioner um in my hair and then yeah and it's actually my homegirl my friend my sister who taught me how to do this and i was watching all these youtube videos of all these natural girls and i would just kind of watch them more for entertainment purposes but i wouldn't really watch them to really learn something from it to really think oh what am i going to do with my hair just now so yeah what's the point you know youtube is i once saw a comment that was like um <laughs> youtube is the best university i ever went to which is kind of funny but you can learn a lot from from youtube you know and it's free thank god so now i've got all these curls here what was i saying before don't actually remember what i said what was i saying ah about the washing yeah so then i wash the shampoo out whilst the hair is still in twist and then i put another leave-in conditioner or something in there um and then leave it for a bit do whatever i gotta do and then i rinse that out again whilst my hair is in twist so my hair doesn't keep getting you know i used to remove it and then finger detangle but i find that now if i do my finger detangling beforehand and i do finger detangling and i don't use a comb or brush all the time uh, maybe once a month or so i will but for the rest i just use my fingers because it's much more gentler on your your hair and it doesn't actually rip out you know your hair so it's much better so like once a month i'll go through with like a comb and stuff but otherwise i won't um, anyway, then I just leave there and twist for the whole process because it's ready to tango and I just get the product out of the hair and It's so much less of a hassle. I come back to do the hair and I just remove the twist and then I go with my LOC method which is my liquid my oil and my cream to seal the oil and In that order so that you're locking in the moisture you're locking in the oil with the cream and yeah Then I just style it however I want to so that's what I did with this hair and now it's nicely stretched and stuff and so my best friends are bobby pins i love bobby pins because you can do so many things with it. and then i love this brush right here is really good because it's very hard then you've got this denman brush which i don't know what's going on here anyway which is also really great and i've removed some of the uh what do you call it some of the the, the teeth of the comb the more bristles or teeth go through your hair the more you're going to rip out your hair let me actually do my hair whilst I talk to you guys. So I actually thought, ooh, maybe like a cute high top bun and then something else at the back. I always thought that the more comb, like bristles a comb had, the better it was for removing, for basically detangling your hair. But that's not what's necessary to detangle your hair. And what's necessary is a bit of patience and some kind of skill. So yeah. So basically what I'm going to do now, and I'm not even actually adding any more product because here's what's hap what happens, right? If I add water to this now, it will be all frizzy. As I'm filling it, it's really quite, it's really moisturized. It's not dry or anything and I have been refreshing it and putting water all the other days. And on top of everything, I'm going to swim tonight, so. I just kind of was looking at YouTube videos and just thinking, hmm. You know, I wasn't really seeing anything out there. <sighs> I don't know. It's becoming so interesting. You've got all these channels. You've got the makeup folk, which I don't know how they're still getting. You know, they they're so talented because they still come out with the new looks, and people are still coming out with new products and innovative stuff, which is really cool. So you've got that crowd, and you've got the crowd who's just out here bashing people that are just trying to make it and are living their own lives then you got people you know you like those review the, those channels that review other people's channels i just sometimes i just don't understand that it's like somebody else has made their own content for me i'm like this if i don't like the content so i'm just twisting this hair i don't actually know what i'm doing i'm making this up as i go but anyway we'll just roll with it um, that's what I always do anyway so it's like that and then I'm gonna kind of make it look a bit bigger give it a bit of volume whilst holding the bottom here Ooh, 
has no pad. I just have random bobby pins just chilling everywhere. And I always wonder why people use their, you know, their teeth. I guess maybe some folk have long nails. I don't. Just go. Anywho, and I'm just going to do that to center it a bit. So I've tucked it in to the elastic. So it was the mail mine. It was this thing that I had gotten. It's a plastic, um, it's like a silicone bag that you can use instead of plastic bags because I'm trying to go zero waste. So I want to make sure that everything that I use is like, twist everything that I use is like something that can be reused and um, because everything is ending up in landfills and everything is ending up in the sea and if I can do anything to help stop that then that's good besides it's quite good for my pocket as well because always just buying plastic bags it really adds up it adds up if you look at it in like terms of how much you spend on these things in a year you know there's this show I used to watch. I've now actually forgotten what the show is called. Um, but anyway, they would just they would just say, oh, you know that coffee you get at, at Starbucks every single day for like four pounds? Yeah, that amounts to blah, 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 a year. And when you put in that perspective, it's like, it's a lot. So yeah, I'm just trying to go zero waste so that I stop buying some of these things all the time so I've got some of the hair here and what I'm gonna try and do I don't know if it's long enough I'm gonna try and bring it bring it around oh that is doing something <sighs> it's looking so funny <laughs> anywho I'm gonna try and find a bobby pin oh this give me a headache though ah not necessary oh, I actually have a headache okay I'm gonna remove the pin I don't like any of this maybe loosen this a little so you got that twisted and then I'm gonna maybe take the other hair that was in the middle this here and bring it around and twist it. And this is just how I had divided it before so I'm just keeping the hair in that same oh you can see my elastic band okay I'll just put it in front Sometimes it's just you know, trying to see what what really works. So I'm gonna tuck this under and just take the big old bobby pin and try and you know just kind of try and push it in there. And now we got a look. And then the rest of the hair. If we let's say for instance you're trying to get these small hairs in. I don't know if you can see this actually, but anyway, I'm trying to get these small hairs in. That's where this guy is really amazing because it will just smooth everything right on it. You know? But I, I never really go for too slick a look. I like the curls to be popping. I like to see the curls. Anyway, this video is a little bit all over the place. I just decided to turn this camera on and just chat with y'all. It's not, it's not really anything very interesting, but I was just on YouTube and Apart from the few OGs that I watch, so this is just like a bun. Maybe I should do that again to show you how I did the bun. I don't actually know how I did it. I do it differently every time. So just grab all the hair and then tuck this elastic band. And then in order to make it a bit loose, I just I'm just pushing all the hair in there somehow. And then that's kind of it. And any hair that's loose, I just kind of tuck it into where the elastic band is. Because I'm not going for a very neat look. It's kind of like my way of doing a messy bun. But yeah, here you have, I don't know what's going on over here. You got this other bun situation here. I'm not going anywhere fancy. I'm just going to the gym. So I don't really want to do anything too crazy. But yeah, I think this is cute enough. I mean, it's a different look. I've switched it up. If I wanted it to be very neat, I would probably pin everything down and flat and I would probably, you know, that's when probably I would add the water and like, but you know, I can still, you know, if you're wondering, this spray bottle, okay. So I had a spray bottle before. That's where this top is from. Then I started putting essential oils in there because I'd seen some of these natural girls putting essential oils in their water and they were like, it's really good for your hair, make sure your hair smells nice, blah, blah, blah. So I started doing that as well 
what happened then was that the plastic started kind of eroding and yeah it, the plastic started kind of melting away and then it, it created a hole and then my water would keep on seeping out of there so I decided no I'm not gonna throw this nozzle away because it's amazing you can just change the setting of how much water comes out I just got this from Amazon but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a container that this fits on and just continue to use it so then I have this mouthwash from Tom's and I just decided to put it on top of there now yeah the, the, the tube doesn't actually reach all the way down it reaches up to here so you always have to fill it quite high to be able to use it but listen I wasn't about to throw nothing away I saved all that money by not buying a new thing and it might look a little bit crazy but I use it anyway and it gets the job done I've also seen people use things like these type of containers with these type of normal nozzles um, to you know spray spritz water into their hair but you know ergonomically I just like having that kind of squishy thing rather than having to do this um because it kind of hurts my hands so anyway that's what I've just done to just you know refresh it a little bit this bun is you know letting gravity do its thing I don't really care like maybe pin this down and it will look really cute see that's that's what it looks like up close I was just going through YouTube. I was like, I was like, well, why not make start making videos again myself? So they will have more themes as time goes on. But for now, I just wanted to, you know, get my hair nice into a style and chit chat with you all. Cause I've missed you guys and I've missed doing this. So anyway, I hope you make time for life. It's definitely time to start living it right. And I hope to see you in my next video. If you're not yet subscribed, please make sure to subscribe to this channel like comment and share to everybody so yeah hope to see y'all in my next video which will come at some point god bless you bye